Researchers this morning say they're excited about a new brain implant for paralyzed patients. One quadriplegic is already controlling a robotic arm with his mind. His doctors say the device is almost as smooth as a real arm. Elaine Kiana of our digital network CBSN is here with the story of the first patient to make it work. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. For more than a decade, an injury left Eric Soto unable to use his arms or legs. But now this life-changing technology has given him the freedom he never thought he'd have again. Eric Soto never imagined that he'd be able to do this again. Or this. I wanted to jump around and high-five and hug everybody because we knew that it worked. Paralyzed from the neck down after being shot 13 years ago, Soto can now think about a movement in his mind, then make it happen effortlessly. <laughs> Neurosurgeon Dr. Charles Liu performed brain surgery on Soto two years ago at Keck Hospital of USC. He implanted a pair of electrodes in the region of the brain where the initial intent to make a movement is formed. Since it had never been done before, there was a bit of a leap of faith in terms of uh, of uh, just seeing if uh, these were in fact the right areas. Two chips in Soto's brain are connected to wires and a series of computers which decode his intentions and move the prosthetic arm. Until now, technologies have only produced jerky, delayed movements, but scientists say this new approach makes them much more natural. You don't really think about moving the muscles or the joints. You really think about, I want to get pick up that glass of water. Soto is the first in the world to have this new neural prosthetic device. The 34-year-old was even able to pick up and drink a beer on his own. All right. I want to be able to brush my own teeth. Yeah. So that would be that's the next goal in. Two other patients also joined the clinical trial. Researchers hope to develop additional neural implants that could simulate a touch sensation in paralyzed patients. Amazing story. This is remarkable. What's the breakthrough? One more time. So the difference here is that before, these neural prosthetics would go to a part of the brain that operated your muscles. Right. And you'd have to say, you'd have to think, move your hand to the right, now move it forward, now pick up the beer bottle. Now you can just say, pick up the beer bottle and bring it to my mouth. And that's why the movements are a lot smoother, because you're not mm -hmm. thinking in these kind of degrees. Mm -hmm. You're just saying, do this the way you normally would. Extraordinary. Thanks. Yep. Mm -hmm.